<clears throat> it's also India's view that the two sides need to engage each other uh, to find a solution. Prime Minister reiterated the need for sincere and practical engagement between all stakeholders to develop innovative solutions that will have broad acceptability and contribute towards early restoration of peace. He reiterated India's willingness to contribute in all possible ways to facilitate an early return of peace. Prime Minister and the President reiterated the readiness to further cooperation in upholding principles of international law, including the UN Charter, such as respect for territorial integrity and sovereignty of states. Prime Minister Narendra Modi arrived in Cave this morning. Uh, and we've just concluded uh, his official engagements. Uh, this is a landmark visit. Uh, it's the first time that an Indian Prime Minister has visited uh, Ukraine since the establishment of diplomatic relations in 1992. In terms of the official discussions, uh, I should uh, say that uh, he um, held these with uh, President Zelensky. This happens to be their fourth meeting. They had met uh, initially in Glasgow uh, in November of 2021, uh, then in Hiroshima in May of 2023, and then most recently in Puglia in Italy in June of 2024. They've also had seven teleconversations. Uh, so uh, in the discussion, uh, uh, obviously uh, a, a significant part of it was devoted to our bilateral relations. Uh, there was a discussion about trade, economic issues, defense, pharmaceuticals, uh, agriculture, education. There were, there were a whole lot of issues. While this is the uh, first visit, uh, uh, I think you all appreciate that there is a very uh, uh, clear context uh, in which the visit is taking place uh, and uh, obviously uh, the uh, much of the discussion uh, was uh, spent uh, uh, with regard uh, to the war uh, in Ukraine. So uh, I, uh, before I uh, come to uh, exactly what was uh, discussed, uh, I just want to give a little bit of background here, uh, which is that uh, there have been uh, a number of public positions taken uh, by India and by the Prime Minister on this subject. Uh, uh, a little less than, little more than two years ago, he had actually publicly said that this is not an era of war. Uh, we, he had also uh, underlined that dialogue and diplomacy uh, are the key. Uh, most recently, he emphasized that the solution will not come out of the battlefield. Uh, and obviously, uh, we uh, find the civilian and humanitarian uh, toll uh, of this conflict uh, particularly uh, distressing. Uh, it's also India's view that the two sides need to engage each other uh, to find a solution. Now... Um, <clears throat> Uh, I, I uh, also uh, want to, uh, I'll, I'll come to the joint statement, but there's a particular segment in the joint statement which pertains uh, to, uh, to the conflict. Uh, so let me uh, sort of uh, uh, read that out, um, <coughs> uh, which is that uh, the Prime Minister reiterated the need for sincere and practical engagement between all stakeholders to develop innovative solutions that will have broad acceptability and contribute towards early restoration of peace. He reiterated India's willingness to contribute in all possible ways to facilitate an early return of peace. Now, um, let me uh, now come to uh, today's discussion on this particular uh, subject because uh, I would say, uh, in terms of the time which the Prime Minister and President Zelensky spent, uh, uh, most of it actually was um, in regard to the conflict. So uh, here, uh, uh, you know, the Prime Minister uh, spoke about our position, which I have uh, summed up for you, that there's not an era of war, that dialogue and diplomacy are key, that the solution will not come out of the battlefield. He shared the widespread sentiment uh, in the global south uh, uh, about the 
repercussions of this conflict uh, for them. Uh, he spoke also about his discussions recently with President Putin uh, in Moscow. He be uh, the Prime Minister, if you remember, was there in July. Uh, he sought uh, President Zelensky's assessment of the both of the ground situation uh, as well as the diplomatic scenario. Uh, <clears throat> President Zelensky spoke uh, at some length uh, on both issues. Uh, he also spoke about taking the global uh, peace summit in regard to uh, Ukraine forward. Uh, and uh, I would say if I were to uh, kind of uh, sum up really what was a fairly long and, um, and uh, detailed discussion, uh, one, uh, it revolved around to, to some extent the military situation uh, about on the medium term concerns like uh, food and energy uh, and uh, most of all on uh, conceivable pathways to peace and conflict resolution. I'm, I'm summing it up uh, very succinctly. I'm not touching all points, uh, but uh, in the joint statement, uh, I want to emphasize that uh, uh, the Prime Minister and the President reiterated the readiness to further cooperation in upholding principles of international law, including the UN Charter, such as respect for territorial integrity and sovereignty of states. Uh, as I said, they spoke about the summit on, on peace uh, in uh, Ukraine. Uh, the last meeting was in uh, June of 2024. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, I, I, in terms of our own positions, I think I read out for you that particular paragraph. Uh, 